Hey everybody, J and A Review, and today we are at Corinth RV Center in Corinth, Mississippi. Now today we are excited to bring you a look at a 2023 Cherokee Gray Wolf model number 29TE. So let's get started. The length on this Gray Wolf is 36 feet 8 inches. The dry weight is 6,428 pounds and that hitch weight is 837. Well, okay, let's start out here on the outside. Something that we really want to point out is this particular model is actually going to feature the new tankless water heater. Uh, so this is on demand. I believe this is six gallon or 10 gallon? I think it's six gallon. This may be a six gallon. Uh, check with your dealership just to be sure. Um, it's right out here next to your outside shower, so all of this is very convenient. Something you will notice for the 2023 model is it does have a new paint scheme. It's now um, more white. Uh, this one over here beside it is a 22 model, so you can see the difference in the paint schemes. Let's move right on around. You're going to have some outside storage here. This is not a pass-through, but there is some more storage at the back of this one. What size awning have we got? Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, he doesn't know. 15. 15-foot power awning with an LED light strip. You'll see that this one is going to have two entries. We'll show you that when we get inside. You are able to bring your TV outside. Um, it will mount right here and there's your connections for that. This has a really nice outside kitchen. Wow. This is probably one of the nicest outside kitchens we have seen. This is awesome. Wow. Already cooling here. Yes. So you've got your si little side-by-side -side refrigerator storage your outside sink it is plumbed through oh my gosh you've got a graystone griddle and and an ice maker already out wow this is again probably the best outside kitchen that we have seen yep. super super nice let me show you the back real quick um this one actually already has the backup camera in um installed and is this not the neatest backup light I mean brake light you've ever seen that has a little wolf emblem in it and they already have the uh, telescoping ladder yes is what that's for that's what that is uh, what that little mount is for all right well the outside is quite impressive let's go inside and take a look this is a bunkhouse model so let's start right back here in the bunk room. Your outside kitchen is under this. So this is your top bunk up here. You do have a ladder that, um, well, scoots out something like that for your access. Storage underneath that bunk. More storage right at the very back. That's a very nice size cabinet right there. You do have connections right up there if you want to add a TV. You've got a stationary bunk right here and another one down below it. And the bunk room is prepped for your second AC. Mm -hmm. So this is a really nice area if you got kids or guests with you. Yes. All right, let's come right on into the kitchen and living area. This is gonna feature a nice large U-shaped dinette. This table will, of course, drop down and make even more sleeping areas if you need it. You've got pull-out drawers on both sides. They're large and very deep. Um, they do give you uh, what they call the zebra shades. So they can be all open, all closed, somewhere in between, very adjustable. Right next to your U-shaped dinette is going to be a sofa, and this will jackknife flat. So if you have um, a smaller child or someone short like mm -hmm. me, 
we can make use of that for some extra sleeping. Yeah. Your kitchen is going to have a little bit of a peninsula to it. You're going to have a nice high rise faucet over a single basin sink. Yeah. Going to have a little bit of storage down below it. Um, you could actually get a shorter garbage can under there. Two drawers right there. Up above, some nice. I like I like the glass yes. accents in those. Your microwave, of yep. course. And this is above your three burner cooktop with an oven. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be right next to your 12 volt compressor fridge. Yes. Very nice. And we are running the lights on the solar. Yes, this does have a solar package, so you'll see that the lights and um, right next to the fridge is a nice floor to ceiling pantry. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I am actually seated on the couch and your hookups are right up above it. Let's move on down the hall into the bathroom. They give you a nice large window right there in the hall so you get some good light. Coming in, here's your second door. So this is very convenient if you don't want people tracking through your camper on the outside. It's going to feature a corner shower. Mm -hmm. So Jeremy is right at six feet tall. Almost so, touching right there. Yeah, but... almost. They do give you a, a skylight. Yeah. Um, so you can you can make it work. Not a very big step up getting into it. Foot flush toilets right next to it. You do have a large, large, this is a very large sink right above and a uh, medicine cabinet up here. A little bit of storage down here below. And there's your controls for your on-demand water heater. Great. Okay. This has got two entries into the master bedroom. Jeremy's going to go through the hall. I'm going to turn right here. This goes directly from your bathroom into your master bedroom. Hanging storage on both sides with cabinets up above, mm -hmm. lights. This is going to be a north-south queen bed. And you've got a good bit of storage underneath it. Yep. This is going to have a USB and electric on this side, electric on this side, and um, this extra thing right there uh, is for a removable Bluetooth speaker. Yeah. If you wish to add a TV to your master bedroom, it will mount right up here on this wall. There's your connections already in there, and that is your door going down your hall. Do you know dogs can't run MRIs? Really? But cats can. Mm. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Let's go right down here and give you a quick overview. Sometimes people want to know what the travel access is. So this is with a slide in. A little bit narrow, but you can get through it. So you can access your refrigerator. And pantry. And pantry. Yeah. Not, not so sure about the bathroom back there. No, I can't squeeze through here, but you do have the second door. Yes, you do have that second outside door, so if you need to stop. But, uh, hey, yeah, pretty travel accessible. Can't access the... No, you cannot get into your bunk room because of the way the slide comes in. All right. But now you know. It's pretty. All right, folks, if you like this travel trailer, the dealership's information will be down in the description below. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe and follow along with us. Thanks, everybody.